Hello everyone, this is Niraj from the Solution Architecture Division of Andes Technology and in today's webinar we will talk about the advanced debugging and analyzing with latest Andeside IDE. Before we get into today's webinar, let's see who is Andes. Andes, we are a CPU pure play UIP company and also a rich type founding member, founding premier member. Uh, we are also listed in the Taiwan Stock Exchange. And as we are part of the RISC-V community, we also play a major, uh, play a role as a major open source contributor and maintainer. Our team includes a board of directors of the RISC-V Foundation, also um, members from the technical steering committee, and we are also heading various trust groups like P extension group, and we also have RISPA ambassador Florian in our team. Um, some quick parts about Andes: uh, we are a 16-year-old company. 80% uh, of our workforce is engineers, and until now, uh, there is a total of uh, nine billion plus accumulated Andes embedded SOCs which are shipped. Um, for talking about the licenses, there are total over 250 worldwide licenses. And uh, today's topic, which is the IDE, we have over 20,000 installations of the IDE itself. To talk about the global presence, uh, we have our headquarters in Taiwan, Shinju, and then have offices uh, all over the globe. And we have an office in USA and uh, sales trade offices in uh, Japan, Korea, uh, China, uh, and also France, Netherlands, and Israel. Okay, so that's a quick overview of Andes. Uh, we will go forward to today's topic. Uh, so we will cover and decide. Uh, talk about the chart overview of Andesite, then uh, talk about major features, then give you a live demo to let you understand the capabilities and features of the ID itself. And then um, I will summarize today's topic. So the Andesite 5.0 is our latest Andesite version. And uh, in, on the left-hand side, you can see the Andesite ID content comprises of uh, the GCC LLVM pool chains and debuggers. Uh, we also have an optimized C library called MCULib, and also include the optimized computation libraries for BSP and vector instructions. Uh, we have the fast and near cycle accurate simulator, we call it Andesim, and support for rich Artos and Linux packages, uh, which are LTP verified. Then we also have the peripheral driver, we call them AMC drivers for Andy Shape platform, which includes drivers like I2C, GPIO, uh, SPI, UART, and so on. And then uh, there is also Arduino support for Andy's Kobe F1 evaluation board. Uh, you can do the debugging uh, in Andy's site for uh, the Kobe F1 board. And in addition to that, we add a lot of demos uh, for letting you understand the coding style and uh, working up with our CPUs uh, for like uh, from basic functionalities like enabling disabling cache uh, to uh, also demo programs for our toast. And then uh, these demos include Linux demos, uh, startup code demos, even the vector demos which have both inline assembly vector demos and also the intrinsic Vector using vector intrinsic functions and include benchmark programs like CoreMark and DryStone, and also some NN reference models. On the right hand side, and the, on the top, you can see we have the Andes Clarity, which is a processor pipeline analyzer plugin. Uh, we will see a live demo about it later in the slides, uh, but this is a powerful plugin which can let you analyze your pipeline and instruction stages starting from the uh, instruction phase until uh, execution stage. And then on the second uh, 
uh, right second part, you can see Andy Soft, uh, which is the name library for RVP, which is the P extension, the DSP extension uh, for SIMD, and uh, RVV, which is the vector risk five vector extension. Uh, so we have the uh, library for optimized uh, DSP and SIMD vector extension support. And in addition to that, uh, there is also the uh, AndySoft LLVM, uh, which is LLVM compiler in infrastructure specifically for supporting RISC-V vector extensions. Moving on, um, the AndySight ID is based on Eclipse. Uh, we have the Streamline GUI, which is both supported in Linux as well as Windows environment. Uh, it is a feature-rich editor, and it can help you build your code with optimized tool chains, and we can also do profiling analysis and so on. Um, by using the ID, you can build executables and combine them with the application layer, like drivers, uh, middleware, libraries, uh, and then you can debug interactively with, with this. After combining with our application layers, uh, you can execute the program either using the Andy Sim or Andy System C virtual platform, or you can choose to connect the FPGA board uh, connected with our AI's tools and connect directly interact with the FPGA through Andy site. So after setting your target uh, target configuration, either virtual SOC or evaluation board, you can get the rich filing, tracing, or debugging data sent back directly to Andy site and easier for your debugging or uh, easier for the anal performance analysis for your program. Moving on to the next topic, which is the major features in Andy site. We keep on in improving our IDE uh, so this, for the current release, these are the major new features uh, which are listed here, uh, starting with the multi-core debugging enhancement uh, with the PR toast timeline analyzer and any side scripting, uh, document window, clarity, and web 2026 support. So uh, the 5.0 has added some more functionalities, which we will talk about in the coming slides. To give you an idea of all the features which are already there, uh, we have the big field registers, uh, display, uh, function profiling, and also the MetaLink script editor, so call it uh, SAG files. So it will help you generate and edit linker script easily. Uh, then have demos for Artos awareness. Um, uh, you can enable some general exceptions, um, like your program can suspend on some specific general exceptions, which you have already enabled before starting your debug session. And then there is also function code size. You can uh, get the which function is consumes how much amount of size in the total stack. So these are all the features uh, which are refined and enriched uh, with our 16-year continuous development uh, since the ID was first introduced. Uh, for multi-core debugging and en enhancement, uh, we user can group the cores for efficient debugging. Uh, we can send the debug commands uh, to a specific set of cores, like you can group two cores or four cores together and uh, send the command to a specific group. Uh, you can configure debug settings for each core. You can send the executable file uh, for every core, different ELF file. Uh, or you can, you can also run the different projects on each core. So these are some advanced uh, multi-core debugging functionalities which are already included in our side. The second additional features with the new release is the pre artos Timeline Analyzer. It lets you visualize and insights into the runtime behaviors. So uh, the execution of task interrupts and events, uh, you can track it within a specified time period. So as you can see in the right-hand side, uh, the free Atos trace package 
who you can see the timeline and see the specific interrupt or task and how it is executing uh, with us within a specific time period. So this is a good tool to let you debug when you are using FreeRTOS in your in your project. The next feature is anti site scripting. So it will write you record and replay UI operations. So you can generate and execute scripts that automate the UI operations to perform a bad job for project or target management. So the shell script view here, uh, it will serve as a scripting command interface in the IDE. So you can uh, run the test automate, you can do some test automations or issue some reproductions through by using this scripting and decide scripting tool. The Andes Clarity is a powerful plugin for Andesite, of course, because it's, it lets you visualize uh, your CPU pipeline and let you find the bottleneck, uh, visualize the bottleneck of your system, and then let you can then go and optimize it furthermore to achieve a better performance as a whole. Uh, you can have the pipeline view of instructions and functional units uh, when you're using Andes Clarity. I can switch between resource centric and instruction centric views. And uh, there will also be stall bubbles with different color uh, for, to let you understand the data dependency between uh, two instructions. The Andes Clarity plugin is an additional license uh, required for uh, using the Andes Clarity with Andesite. For vector intrinsic support in Andesite, we include three vector demos with vector intrinsics and four vector demos with inline assembly in the standard package. So uh, as you can see on the right top, uh, all the vector demos are listed here. This is directly from the Andesite demo directory. And you can see the intrinsic demos include like vector addition, Gaussian blur, and matrix multiplication. So you can import these demos directly in Andesite and start debugging uh, once you install ID, uh, the IDE. This is a view uh, screenshot to show you using the Andes Clarity. You can double click on the instruction itself and it will point out which uh, where it is in the code and also the bubbles in the uh, operations per cycle view. After this, I would like to show you a demo of uh, some advanced debugging features uh, which you can use with Andesite. So for this, we will use the AI uh, ReLU demo uh, for, for vector demo, uh, AI ReLU, which is uh, most commonly used activation function in deep learning. And the function returns zero if the input is negative, but for any positive input, it returns that value back. So we will run this demo and uh, show more Andesite debugging features. So let me share a video of the Andesite debugging capabilities video. So this is what the Andesite ID dashboard looks like. Uh, this is the project explorer where you will be seeing all the projects you are working on. Uh, to give you an example, we have imported uh, the demo and add ReLU, the vector demo. And you can see when you go to the target configuration, you can choose either ICE or simulator. Uh, depending on your target which you have connected to the system. So uh, the simulator is, we call it Andesim, which is a near cycle accurate simulator, which is really good to uh, let you get an idea of profile cycles. And after that, uh, you can go to run the application. Uh, after 
you start the execution you can see in the console view it will show the final output and uh, this is the first part is the pure c algorithm How, what is the instruction count or cycle count and the next part is after applying the v extension so you can see a huge difference between the cycle counts and after using the v extension the speed up is 71 times so this is um, to give you an idea about uh, comparison between the pure c algorithm and then using the vector extension and site has a lot of debug capabilities uh, we can see by going to debug as application program and once you do that you can see uh, we have set some breakpoint it and decide lets you set breakpoints in your project so once you start execution the program can suspend when it reaches the breakpoint for example here we said so the program suspends when it reaches the print version uh, function and you can trace this function in the main function as you can see here okay then you can use the f5 hotkeys uh, for step into and it will go to the next the next breakpoint we have set you can set and toggle the breakpoints uh, as you can see this is where the vector extension algorithm uh, will start uh, we can we can declare the variables and you can if you want to see the sides uh, like uh, the contents of the variable you can go to the variable view and under the variable view all the uh, variables will be listed and you can see the AVL under the variables after executing that line you can see the variables uh, size has been up already updated and highlighted in the yellow color this is the next function uh, we are using uh, like the int 8 uh, for the vset vli e8 stands for the int 8 data type and the m8 is for the grouping the l8 so eight vector registers will be grouped together then once you start execution so this real e8 uh, vector load uh, will group together v0 to v7 vectors uh, for uh, loading the vector data the vector registers are listed in the register view uh, as you can see different data types uh, float 16 and int 8 and because here we have declared int 8 the vector registers will be updated uh, in the int 8 part so these are the register here you can see the value will be updated later uh, after we execute uh, this line of code so uh, let's press f5 again and go to the next step so it, it's you can see on the right hand side in the registers view the register values have been updated so similarly also for the v1 register in the int 8 part you can see uh, the values have been updated so through this you can track and keep monitoring the registers during the runtime yeah, so after a quick like, demo about uh, the anti-site debug capabilities, uh, I would like to show a live demo of the Andy's Clarity plugin, uh, which is for pipe, which will act as a pipeline analyzer and let you and let you find out the bottleneck of the system. So for this, we will use an intrinsic demo, uh, an intrinsic vector demo, which is the general a single precision general matrix multiplication and we will import this demo and then show you what can you do with the Andy's clarity plugin now let's see after using anti side how you can visualize the CPU pipeline so to give you an example we have imported a intrinsic matrix multiplication demo sgemm intrinsic from the demo folders of andy side uh, the sgemm golden here is for the scalar matrix multiplication 
and the SGMM vector is uh, using the vector extension for doing the matrix multiplication. So here uh, you can see this is the matrix multiplication vector code uh, with pass the arguments related to matrix uh, in this function and you can see we have declared here a vector register with the vflot32 and normal one which will load the data in it and then um, this vector register will store the vector float multiplier and accumulate results into it after that you can go to your project and start profiling so after the profiling begins You can see in the console uh, that there is uh, output which says uh, the comparison of uh, the scalar and vector multiplication is the same and then on the right hand side you can see the simulator profiling view uh, which will show you the for example the scalar HGM and golden you can see the total cycle count is a lot compared to the uh, the vector multiplication uh, function and this view can let you understand what is the time percentage every function is consuming uh, the inst IPC OPC view is for the instruction per cycle or operations per cycle as you can see here we are using the operation per cycles view for the most part in the main function the operations per cycle is round one at the most but once it reaches the VPU uh, you can see the operations per cycle has been almost 2 or 2.25 uh, per cycle so this this will show you a broader view of your pipeline and you can also right click and zoom into a specific part of the operations per cycle view and then also if you want to see the pipeline data you can click on the eye icon and it will show you the bubbles uh, which are stand for the specific instructions being executed in pipeline once you double click on them you can go to the pipeline view and see which vector instruction is corresponding uh, to that bubble this pipeline view will show all the vector instructions being executed in the pipeline and you can also use zoom in or zoom, zoom out option to go to a specific instruction then uh, to if you want to see uh, the pipeline execution stages uh, starting from the instruction phase uh, to the instruction issue execution uh, memory and, and then write back so all the stages will be mentioned for every instruction in the and is clarity view uh, let's say for example here you can see some x markings when you hover on it you can see it stands for the branch misprediction it's because the previous instruction is for the branch and if there was a misprediction it will be it will be shown using the X uh, for uh, green bubbles here you can see that is the stall caused by the previous stage so so you can easily see and analyze how the pipeline looks at every stage of instruction execution also you can switch between the instruction centric and resource centric views of and is clarity once you select resource centric it will show you let me maximize it uh, it will show you all the resource dependencies uh, starting from the cpus then uh, fpu going to the vector processing unit for example here are various vector instructions which are listed which are being executed in the pipeline so vector load then there is 
the vector for multiply and accumulate instruction. And once you click on that, you can see. Once you click on that, you can see the multiply and accumulate instruction stages. It's being executed starting from the CPU, then being executed in the uh, vector processing unit. So it's much easier to visualize the resource dependency using the resource centric view. Yeah. So after checking what you can do with and is clarity uh, with different uh, views for different achieving different uh, performance analysis, uh, you can you can import some demo programs and then. Uh, also use and is clarity for visualizing the resource portal like uh, to summarize today's webinar i would say andy side is a user friendly and easy to use uh, ide tool uh, which is which has a powerful debugging features which we saw in previous previous live demo for uh, the debugging part and uh, you can get the virtual virtualized analysis uh, to let you help uh, for ultimately optimizing your software code uh, while using this id you can it can definitely help you accelerate your risk by software development and um, get to reduce your time to market and we also have periodic releases for any side uh, to support uh, the latest and is risk five cpu codes that being said, uh, I would also like to mention that Andesite ID is a free to download uh, for three months uh, time limit. And you can scan this QR code or go to our Andes website uh, to download the free evaluation version of this Andesite ID. Thank you all for joining today's webinar.